Let's factor the polynomial function. This is a degree four polynomial function, and then find its roots. Okay, so let's start off with the rational root theorem. Rational root theorem, so that I can write out the list of possible roots here. Okay, so the constant term is a negative four, but I'm gonna ignore the negative for now. And the leading coefficient is one. Numbers that divide evenly into four are one, two, and four. Numbers that divide evenly into one are just one. So that's gonna give me positive and negative one, positive and negative two, positive and negative four. Okay, so there are six options here. Now to figure out which ones are my actual roots, if any of them are, I am going to use my calculator. I'm going to type in x to the fourth plus x to the third minus 9x squared plus 11x minus 4. I'm going to start my table at negative 4 and have it count by ones. And I find roots negative 4, 1, and that's it. Okay, so I have two rational roots that I have found so far, at least two distinct ones. But remember, I should expect to find four. So there's probably some multiplicities going on here, or even worse, some complex roots. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, so what I can do for now is factor this part of the way. X minus negative four gives me X plus four. That's the factor theorem. X minus one. And then there's some more stuff here, right? There's, there's definitely more going on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use synthetic division to at least break this down um, by dividing these two out. Okay, so let's see. Synthetic division. Start with x to the fourth. x to the third, x squared, x and a constant. My coefficients are 1, 1, negative 9, 11, negative 4. And negative 4 was the first root that I found. Okay, so let's work this out. Bring down the 1. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Negative 4 times negative 3 is a positive 12. Negative 9 plus 12 is a positive 3. Negative 4 times 3 is a negative 12. 12 mi or 11 minus 12 is negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is a positive 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Okay, so good. That knocks this down to a cubic function, right? These four correspond with these four, but I can knock it down even further by dividing again by one, right? My next root. Bring down the one. One times one is a positive one. Negative two, or negative three plus one is negative two. One times negative two is negative two. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1, positive 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Okay, so that knocks this down. I'm left with x squared, x, and a constant. That corresponds to 1, negative 2, and 1. So that means that this blank is 1x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay then, what can I do from here? Well, I know how to factor quadratic, so maybe that's what I should do, right? Maybe I should factor the quadratic. Okay, so x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, well, x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, well, since, since this is an understood 1 right here, remember I can just find the numbers Right? I need to find the numbers that when I multiply them together, they equal 1, right? positive 1. But when I add those same numbers together, they equal negative 2. 
since it's a one that I'm trying to multiply to, I don't have a ton of options here. Okay. Um, let's see. Negative one times negative one. That multiplies together to be a positive one. They add together to be a negative two. So check negative one and negative one work. So x squared minus 2x plus 1 factors to be x minus 1 times x minus 1. So that means this piece right here is x minus 1 times x minus 1. x minus 1, x minus 1. Wow, I have three x minus 1s here. To make this look nicer, we can write this as x plus 4 times x minus 1 cubed. Okay, so that's it factored out. Now what do we do with the roots here? Well, okay, let me write this out into a different color. Okay, so we know that we have negative 4, and we have only one negative 4, right, that pops up. So we'd say it has multiplicity 1. And then this x minus 1 would give me 3 positive ones. There's three of them. So we'd say one with multiplicity three. Okay, so there is my roots. I've accounted for four roots here. One negative four and three ones. And I factored it. So there we go.